Hello everyone. Some time ago I shared a poster that explained how to use heat as medicine for any flu. And by flu I mean um, any respiratory illness that's caused by influenza virus and this also includes coronavirus. In that poster I mentioned to do a lower leg immersion in hot water. Here I just want to explain what exactly do we need to do because a lot of you were asking how exactly are we supposed to do this lower leg immersion in hot water. So we need to take three buckets for this. In my first bucket, I have a lukewarm water, which is around 42 to 43 degrees in temperature. And I have my legs dipped in this. I need to do this for about 30 minutes. And for the entire 30 minutes, I must maintain the temperature of 42 to 43 degrees. So to start with, you can take this water from your geyser or heat it on the stove. and. And I use um, a thermometer like this. So this is the food grade thermometer or the water thermometers you get. It is very helpful to have a digital thermometer. So you check the temperature of the water and uh, when it's 42 degrees, that's when you can um, dip your feet, your lower leg in this water. Once that's ready, um, we're using this lavender essential oil. It's really helpful. I forgot to mention this method is not just great for curing any kind of flu but this also is very helpful if you have high BP, headaches, body aches or any kind of muscle spasm and lavender oil is great for that. It, uh, it is very calming and it has a very soothing effect. So um, we, we just need about four to five drops of this oil so you can add that in this water and you sit in this for about 30 minutes. But what you'll notice after every 5 to 7 to 10 minutes, depending on your weather, this temperature of this water will start to drop and it will become cooler and cooler. So after 5 to 7 minutes, you can check with your thermometer what's the temperature. And you will also feel it with, uh, of course, your legs are dipped in it. So you'll feel it that, you know, it's become a little cooler. So at that time, we'll take one mug and we'll remove one mug of water. And we have the second bucket, which is an empty bucket. So I take one mug of water from this first bucket and move it to my empty bucket. And then I have this another bucket. This has really hot water, which is around the temperature of 50 to 55 or 60 degrees, whatever you want, uh, really hot water in here. So now I take one, bucket, uh, one mug of this water and put it back here. So now this will increase the temperature of this and bring it back to what it was earlier around 42 to 43 degrees. So we need to do this process two, three to four times every five to 10 minutes so that we maintain a temperature of 42, 42, 42 to 43 degrees for about half an hour. And that's all we need to do really. But um, you might notice that after 15 to 20 minutes, you start sweating, which is a good sign. Um, that would also dep depend again on your weather. So if it's really hot, you would start sweating a lot sooner. And if it's really cold, you may not sweat for 15, 20, 30 minutes also. So uh, all that is fine. But in case you notice that you are sweating, it's a really good idea to cover your head with a damp towel. So you can take a towel like this and it should be damp. So just um, put it under the water and squeeze it out completely so that you know the water is not dripping. And then you take it and just cover your head like this. So cover your head and your hair so that it keeps your head cool and you know it doesn't become too hot. We don't want that at all. And you can sit and relax. You can enjoy a cup of uh, green tea with this while you're doing this or just relax. And um, you're going to feel a lot better immediately after this is done. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more tips and healthy recipes, then subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram.